group of Ethiopian women are among the welcoming crowds. The Emperor of Ethiopia has come to Washington to discuss important aspects of world peace and economic progress. He confers with President Kennedy on African problems and aspirations in these vital areas. to Abraham Lincoln. The Emperor and his party arrive at the Lincoln Memorial to place a silver wreath in honor of the American president, who is an international symbol of unity and freedom. President Kennedy, Secretary of Interior, Stuart Udall, accompanies the Emperor. Included in the Empress party are Ras Imaru Haile Selassie, Ambassador Dinky, Ethiopian Ambassador to the United States, and Ambassador Corey, United States Ambassador to Ethiopia. Mr. Udall reads from Abraham Lincoln's immortal Gettysburg Address. They gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. At the National Legislature, the Vice President of the United States, Lyndon B. Johnson, and leaders of the Senate and House of Representatives hold discussions with the Emperor. This is where the men and women elected by the American people make the laws which govern them and determine American policies and world affairs. In the same room where President Kennedy holds his press conferences, the Emperor meets with over 500 representatives of the American and world press. He describes the purpose of his visit, to renew his acquaintance with our nation and to ensure that the ties of friendship which have linked the two countries over the years will be maintained and strengthened. In reply to one question, the Emperor says, what interests us most in Africa today is the collaboration for the purpose of achieving unity for the benefit of Africa and as a contribution to world peace. <laughs> 